Hey what's up Jason here from Unity3D.College. In this video I just want to show you how to do a moving platform and move a character along it. So I've got a setup right here where I've got my player. This player is already set up so I can run back and forth and jump and everything. And then I've got a little platform here. What I've done is just add a rigid body 2D to this platform and set the body type to kinematic. And then I have a move on touch script. So what's going to happen is as soon as I collide with this thing it's just going to start moving. So let me show what it looks like real quick and then I'll show the code. So here we go, I jump on the platform and it moves and my character moves along with it. So this is perfect, this is pretty much exactly what I want. So I'm gonna stop playing and then go over to the code. So if you've tried to do this before, you may run into the situation where you jump onto the platform and the platform moves and your character kinda of stays still. And the way that I fix this is just by setting so in here in the on collision, I set the collider or the transforms parent of the player to this transform. So you see when I play, this is actually setting my player to be a child of the moving object. Let's watch and see how that works again, just real quick. I'm gonna expand out the floating grass platform, hit play one more time, and then I'll jump and then watch the player right there. So now it's a child, and then as I leave it, it's no longer a child. And I do that just by setting the transforms parent right here. So I do my collision.collider.transform.setParent and I set it to this thing's transform. Now if I don't do that, let's just real quickly show what the behavior is. And I can undo it right here. Um, let's just jump. I'll show it one more time. Give a real quick idea what, what you would get without this. So without it, you'll get this, right? Your platform moves along, player doesn't go. So like I said, it's a pretty simple fix. You just have to set the parent right here and unset the parent when the collision exit happens and I've just got a little extension method here to show when the when it's with a player and when it's not with a player make it easier to check and then in the fixed update I'm just setting the position moving the thing basically whenever the moving boolean is set to true which is as soon as you enter so if I leave it still keeps moving but I could just do something here like moving equals false to make it stop moving when the player jumps off the platform and then we could do some other kind of movement or something else with the platform later. So here it is with it. It goes when I'm on, when I jump, it stops, or if I fall off, it stops. So I hope this is helpful. If you have uh, questions about this kind of stuff, just drop a comment below or hit me up at jason at unity3d.college. Um, and if you like this video, don't forget to like and hit subscribe.